What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the luxury single family home market in Miami-Dade. So if that's the space that you're interested in, don't go anywhere. Stay right where you're at because we're going to be talking about all of the data that you need to know in order to make the most informed decision for yourself and your family. Jake Fletcher here with the Fletcher Group at eXp Realty, your Miami real estate agent, and all of my contact info is in the description down below if you'd like to reach out. So in this video today, we're gonna be taking a deep dive into the data straight from the MLS for the luxury single family home market here in Miami-Dade, which is everything that's above $1.5 million, which represents the top 10% of sales in the market, okay? So this is, as far as I know, the only channel where we specifically look at uh, different segments of the market. So we look at the, the luxury single family homes, luxury condos, the regular market single family homes and regular market condos as well, uh, because we wanna take a look at all of the data in a way where we can actually make sense of it uh, and put this data into action. So at the end of the video, that's what we're gonna be talking about, about what this means if you're a buyer, a seller, an investor, in the luxury space for single family homes in Miami-Dade. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first graph here, uh, which is the number of sales versus the closed price to original price ratio, okay? Now, if this is your first time on my channel or maybe you aren't uh, aware, the closed price to original price ratio is the ratio between what a home is listed at versus what it actually ended up selling at. So if it was listed for, uh, let's just say for easy numbers, a million dollars, and then it sold for $900,000, then that's a 90% closed price to original price ratio, okay? So as we can see, uh, looking at the green line, which is our sales here, sales are way up, okay? Sales for luxury single family homes in Miami-Dade were actually up by 125 sales uh, from uh, April to May. So there was only 106 in April and then 125 in May, which is 19 more, and that's a 17.9% increase, okay? Year over year, however, we saw 37 fewer sales or a decrease of 22.8, okay? So that's in comparison to uh, this May point over here when, uh, you know, there was uh, actually 37 more sales than what we had over here, okay? So that would be uh, around 162. So next up, let's talk about the blue line here, which is the closed price to original price ratio. Again, the difference between what a property was originally listed at versus what it ended up selling at, okay? So buyers were getting better deals in May with a closed price to original price ratio of 88.9% versus 92.4% in April. Now, year over year, that's a huge decrease of 9.5% compared to over here, uh, when in last May, the closed price to original price ratio was 98.4% in May of 2022. In other words, high-end buyers are getting way better deals this May compared to last May. Now, one way to do that is to work with an agent who really, really knows the market data, such as myself, to make sure that you're not overpaying for a property compared to what you should be paying or what you could be paying for that property because there's a lot of leeway when you're talking about high-end properties, okay? Now, one reason that the close price to original price ratio has been moving in favor of buyers is due to the constant increase in active supply of inventory over roughly the last year and a half or so. Now, May of 2023, uh, we're gonna look at that on this next graph. Uh, we actually saw, let me zoom on in a little bit there for you. Uh, now, uh, May of 2023, we saw 1,238 active uh, units of luxury single family home inventory. That's the green line here. Uh, now that's an increase of 17 units month over month or 1.4%. Year over year, we saw a sizable increase of 282 units for sale or a 29.5% increase, which is definitely substantial. So comparing here to here, I mean, this is basically, you know, the, the luxury category is the only sector of the real estate market where we're seeing uh, essentially a glut of supply compared to the rest of the market. Um, now, we uh, are gonna look next at the number of new listings, which is that blue line there. And you can kind of see how over time, it's sort of, uh, you know, slowly on an upward trajectory there, right? And we saw a healthy addition of 290 new listings 
listings in May, an increase of 47 units from the month before when we had 243 units. So that's a 19.3% increase in new listings in just one month, which is pretty sizable. Uh, now, it is a decent slowdown year over year compared to last May's 354 new listings. If we look over here, we had a big old pop up right there, right? Now that's 64 less units or an 18.1% decrease. Overall, the trend is definitely continuing upwards as we were pointing out there as far as new listings uh, because there's a lot of demand for luxury products here in Miami and the builders are building it, right? So as more and more active, uh, uh, sorry, as more and more new listings are coming onto the market, it's adding to the active uh, you know, supply. Now also sales are up as we saw in the last graph, but they're still substantially down if we look at it compared to uh, you know, the, the mid pandemic craziness, uh, you know, they've slowed down a bit, but they are up from what they were at the beginning of the year. Okay. So let's move on to the next graph. The one everybody wants to know, what's the median sale price. Okay. Now, median sale price of luxury single family homes increased month over month by 9% or $225 from 2.5 million to 2.725 million. Compared to last year's 2.875 million though, that's a $150,000 decrease or 5.2% as we see in the green line there, uh, you know, since the beginning of the year that has been trending up versus last year, we see it was still a little bit higher, okay? So as inventory has increased, what happens to those median sale prices? They tend to slump a little bit, uh, but since the beginning of the year, all sectors of real estate, luxury and non-luxury prices have been going up um, because you know that tends to be what happens after the holidays, people get back into the market, okay? Now, next up, let's look at the average days on market for the blue line there. Average days on market decreased for the third month in a row uh, from 121 days in April to 118 days on market in May. Now, although that's uh, only three days less month over month, it's actually 44 days greater year over year compared to last May's 74 days on market, okay? So we see here, you know, that's the market was moving real quick down here, you know, 74 days on market compared to now 118 days on market. So that's uh, 59. 5% increase in the days on market. Now you might be asking, well, what is it? Is it a seller's market? Is it a buyer's market? Well, let's look at the months of inventory, uh, which is a measure of if no new units came onto the market for sale, how long would it take to sell the existing supply of inventory? So months of inventory actually decreased month over month from April's 12 months of inventory to 10 months of inventory in May. So pretty much normal market conditions, but definitely teetering on a buyer's market, meaning that the conditions of an individual transaction, uh, such as the close price to original price ratio, days on market, the sale price, et cetera, are gonna really, really come down to a case by case basis. And working with a professional such as myself can, you know, really help you take all that stuff into consideration when you're looking at all of these different factors. And those are just a few, you know, just to name a, a you know, a few of them. Um, but, you know, we want to look at all these different factors before we place an offer to make sure that we're getting the best possible deal. Okay. Now, year over year, we were at six months of inventory last year in May, uh, which was over here, you know, things were moving really quick, right? So that shows that the luxury single family home market has really slowed down a good bit since last year in May, although it has sped up since the end of 2022 and the beginning of this year when we were seeing months of inventory in the upper teens and even 21 months of inventory at the peak right there in December of 2022, okay? Now, just to remind you all, a uh, normal market, well, let me start from the bottom, a seller's market is anywhere from zero zero uh, through five months of inventory. Six months of inventory up to 12 is normal. Anything over 12 months of inventory is considered a buyer's market. So right now, you know, sitting at 10 months of inventory, we are in a normal market, but again, sort of teetering still on that, uh, you know, buyer's market where we were at uh, in the second half of 2022 and the very beginning of 2023, but it looks like it's trending downwards. Looks like the months of inventory is decreasing 
and we're, you know, the market is picking back up, it's speeding back up, okay? Now, what does this mean if you're a buyer? What does it mean if you're a seller, an investor, right? Now, if you're a buyer in this market, again, you gotta really look at all the data, take all of the information into account, working with a professional like myself to be able to tell you what exactly is the exact market value pinpointed down to a specific dollar amount of a property because that's gonna help you to write the best offer, the most competitive offer, uh, and also you know the most likely to get accepted, right? Because what's the point of writing an offer if it doesn't get accepted? Um, now, the uh, for the sellers out there, it's a great time to sell uh, because you know prices are stable. There's obviously a lot more demand coming back into the market, but what you need to know is that marketing is everything. And by everything, I mean everything. <laughs> if you're selling a luxury home in Miami and you don't have the most professional photos, the most professional drone photography, videography, Hollywood style videography, Matterport 3D scan, you know, all these things, I could go on and on and on and on, the absolute best marketing possible, then your chances of getting the highest potential offer for your home are significantly reduced, okay? Now, if you're curious to learn more about that, all my contact info is in the description down below. I am a listing specialist. I work with buyers as well, um, but nobody can list a home like me. I'll put my listing skills up against any agent in the market, guaranteed. Now, what does it mean if you're an investor? Well, investing in the luxury space is a little bit trickier, although it can definitely be done. Uh, it's just a matter of location and what exactly the numbers look like on paper, right? And I actually work with all three of these categories, buyers, sellers, and investors. So if you want to uh, you know, work with somebody who can help you ensure that the numbers that you're getting on paper look right and that you know an investment is actually going to return what you think it's gonna return, I'm somebody who can help you make that a reality, okay? Now, um, you know, that's pretty much uh, as far as buyers, sellers, investors go. As far as you go though, uh, you know, everybody's case is different, all right? So reach out to me. All my contact info is in the description down below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to help you out. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help out the public. That's why I bring these videos to people for free. And if you enjoyed this free video full of all kinds of information direct from the MLS, do me a favor. If you made it this far in the video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell so you don't miss videos like this in the future. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the video or if you have any questions or concerns or anything like that, drop it in the comments down below. Or again, reach out to me at my contact info, which is also in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Jake Fletcher with the Fletcher Group at EXP Realty, your Miami real estate agent. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.